Hi. So, this is uh, one of my leaf insects, and I named her Lemon because she used to be a very vibrant yellow colour. But um, the reason why is because she's a different breed of leaf insect. This is a normal green leaf insect. She's not fully ad adult yet. She's um, about half grown, but this is a full adult of the green um, type of sick insect. Um, no, leaf insect, sorry. But these are very different from like, you might heard of like Indian stick insects and stuff because they look actually like a stick. But these are, um, these are leaf insects and they, as you might guess, they camouflage as leaves. Even, even though they might not be very good at it, looking here, we're just cleaning them out. But um, they are eating brambles at the moment, but you can give them a diet of certain leaves, like oak, eucalyptus, and I think much more. Uh, but not too much more, though. But, so this is, I think, lemon. But like when she changes colour, it's harder to tell. But still, you can maybe slightly tell, because this one could also be learned here. But um, what I'm talking about, why am I called it lemon? Because when it was younger, it used to be a vibrant yellow colour. When it was like, when it was in its first two sheds, I think it, on the second shed, it was starting to turn yellow, but it was green originally. So we thought we'd just been sent green sick insects, but really, it was a yellow one. It's just that they look green when they're younger. But anyway, this is an adult leaf insect and they're actually very friendly and you can like hold them. They're not toxic or anything. You can like play around with them because if they're lively enough, they will run around. I can probably show you that. There's a male too. Uh, they are bas they basically fertilize the females, and females can actually lay eggs um, unfertilized, and um, they can come out to be, uh, become just females. But when they're fertilized eggs, um, they usually come out as uh, males too. So you might get a mixture, uh, which is good because that's why we want to um, uh, get a mixture. Because you know, of course. If you get a male and you get a female, it means more males and more females. So, of course, it's it's not a 50-50 chance, but it is if they breed. And usually they kind of freeze in position to maintain their um, kind of uh, posture and stuff like that and maintain their seat kind of like camouflage. So, um, yeah, you might find them. Uh, like freezing all of a sudden um, but they have they have little antennas here um, let me just focus uh, two antennas at the top a nice little eye uh, as you can see at, on the head by antennas and um, then you've got the wing cases uh, these aren't actually wings but they're wing cases uh, the males, in fact, though, they have wings, uh, ha where females don't, but they have wing cases. Here you can see they've got, like, little suckers, in a way, well, you might call them that, but they're, like, little, like, sticky things on the end of their feet to help them glue onto, like, trees and all that. Because, they, you know, they don't originate from where I am. Um, they kind of originate from like jungles, like, like tropical places, but that's why you need to keep the uh, cage humid by like spraying a bit of water in it. And you also need to keep the leaves fresh. And as you can see, these leaves are not fresh. We're just freshening them out now. Um, th those are fresh leaves. They're just cut off from the big fresh leaves over here. And here is the place where they lay eggs and they also group so it's right under here but you might find that younger leaf insects like curl their tail well when you're kind of an adult you can't because <laughs> you've got all those eggs stored in there and like you know you're making all these eggs so i can just get her back she's gone a bit mad 
but they're very fun to play with too they're nice pets but you just need to make sure you fresh them a couple times a week you know about once or twice a week um it, it kind of depends what leaf you're using but well we uh, like brambles are easier for us because we've got a lot of them around it's just a good way to get rid of them by feeding them to leaf insects and also um oak we find is uh do does kind of like die quite quickly uh but uh we we don't it's not like we don't recommend it and stuff like that but um i would say i'd recommend brown brambles <laughs> And yeah, so they've, oh, I can show you an egg. So what they do is they lay eggs and you might see there's a lot of poops here, but that right there, that's an egg after it's been left for a bit. They go like slightly, like they don't go furry like that. If they go furry like that, it means they're going off. But, um... That right there, that's natural for an egg to do. So if you've got any leaf insect eggs and you, you go, oh my God, all my um, leaf insect eggs have got like little hair things on them. Don't worry, this is just the way they grow. And when they're ready to hatch, they look. They should have a lot of them on them. And look, there's an egg in there right now, a really fresh one. So they don't have any kind of hairy things. But um, <coughs> if it goes furry like that, then your eggs probably gone off, but um, it usually does that in groups. So if like if you put them too near each other, they might uh, do that because that's that that's just not healthy for them. But I can show you all the eggs here. If we just open it, I'll put the leaf insect down quickly. Come on, on the table. So basically these are the eggs we have for the yellow leaf insect and we could tell she's a yellow leaf insect when she laid these but um here they are so all these little egg things and that they are all like yeah they're all eggs that she's laid and um not only that but they are looking healthy and all that and they're not going furry or anything but um I suggest keeping them in sand, well, on a sand surface, um, a little bit moist too, maybe, just because um, it's um, better for them to to hatch in because it's I mean, it kind of moisturises the egg as well and it all makes it smooth. Like if it's like extremely um, dry and all that, the the eggs might not make it and stuff like that, or or if you just like bung them in some soil they it might they might not make it so sand is the best layer for eggs and it's just a nice thing for the egg but these eggs are very interesting i find because if you put them on like a microscope you can see so many like little tiny dots on it and like it's just amazing really but they hatch out of the end of it. So you see it's got the pointy end there. Wait. You see it's got like a slight pointy end here. Well, that is the end they hatch out of. It's almost like a little capsule in a way. So as soon as it's ready, it will hatch out of that little end there. Maybe a bit blurry, but that's where they hatch out of. So, thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.